the governor of Bali asks people stop complaining about traffic jams. Bali Governor Wayan Coaster has pleaded with the populace to quit griping about the island's gridlock. The province governor spoke to a crowd last week at the Denpasar Art Center. His address served as a celebration and assessment of the Coaster Ace administration's four years in office. In his remarks, Coster recognized that 65% of Bali's hotels are typically occupied. Hotels in several parts of Badung Regency are regularly booked at over 90% capacity. According to him, restaurants are also getting crowded, and both beaches and highways are getting busier. It used to be calm, and we loved going, but now we're starting to whine about the traffic, he added. If it's packed, it implies the economy is alive, so don't whine. Governor Coster continued by expressing his thankfulness for Bali's economy's recovery, particularly in the tourist industry. According to him, Bali is once again a secure, cozy, and suitable tourism destination. He requested a round of applause from the crowd in support of tourism. He emphasized how, following a period of negative growth during the epidemic, the economy is now booming once more. He revealed that in 2020 and 2021, the economy grew at a negative rate of minus 9.31% and minus 2.47%, respectively. However, Bali's economy had expanded in 2022. Coster expressed his optimism that the economy will increase by about 3.5% by the end of 2022. In response to extremely public complaints about the problem of congestion in increasingly popular areas of the island, he made comments regarding the traffic jams on the island. Local drivers and visitors have posted videos of traffic jams on the routes between popular tourist locations on social media. Changu is well known for its struggle with traffic congestion as a result of the region's recent fast expansion, around five to seven years ago. Changu, formerly a tranquil seaside town, is now one of Bali's busiest regions. Building construction has exploded, but nothing has been done to scale up the area's infrastructure. Local moped riders and a few dozen automobiles or people carriers each hour were first accommodated on roads and walkways, which are now subject to significant rush hour traffic congestion and full standstill during peak hours. The provincial administration has been urged by local senators to assess development budgets and determine whether more funding can be allocated for road infrastructure upgrades in popular tourist destinations like Chongo. Iwayan Sandra, the head of the Badung DPRD, urged the province government to provide Chonggu additional funding for road and wastewater management upgrades during the Bali Regional Government's budget meeting in early August. His suggestions were taken into consideration, but until the area's budget for the next year, there won't be any more talk about funding increases. Similar to this, traffic congestion have recently become substantially more common in Ubud, Bali's cultural center. Despite being named the finest city in Asia in 2022, Ubud has room for improvement for both residents and visitors. Although many local business owners in Ubud told reporters that they considered the resumption of traffic bottlenecks as a positive omen, similar to Governor Coster. In August, Gusti Ketat Karamas told reporters there must be traffic congestion. If there are officials who can effectively handle them, there is nothing wrong with traffic congestion. Yes, we need to communicate clearly on the road. Governor Coster's appeal for optimism from the populace is supported by recent policy developments. On September 29, he said that he will establish electric vehicle-only zones in Jakarta for the Indonesian Electric Motor Show. By encouraging individuals to plan their trip more carefully, he expects that this would not only address the problem of congestion but also lessen pollution in these places. The following areas will be designated as electric vehicle-only zones, Nusa Dua, Sanur, Denpasar, Ubud, and Nusa Panita, according to Koster, who spoke at the ceremony last week. However, there was no particular mention of Chonggu's new zoning regulations.